Hi, this is Dan Brera. I'm going to take a quick look at connecting your LAN tech to Wi-Fi. So there's two ways to get to the Wi-Fi screen. You can swipe down and then bring up the uh, special menu and there's Wi-Fi there. Or you can uh, just click the preferences icon at the top right and go to Wi-Fi and turn Wi-Fi on. So Wi-Fi is off right now. I'll just click this uh, switch box and it will turn Wi-Fi on. Take a bit of time for it to connect and scan. It's gonna automatically connect to the last Wi-Fi access point I was connected to if that is available. Wi-Fi will turn off whenever we run an auto test. So right now I have Wi-Fi turned on and it's connected to this hotspot here. Now, if I execute an auto test, it's going to turn Wi-Fi off for that test. The reason is that the Wi-Fi radio in here can cause interference with the measurements that we're making because Wi-Fi operates at 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and this tester can sweep up to 3 gigahertz. So if we do a 3 gigahertz sweep and the Wi-Fi radio is operating at the 2.4 band, then that will interfere with our test measurements. So we always turn the Wi-Fi off whenever a auto test is started. So it's connected to uh, this access point and we can see there's quite a lot of access points available. If I wanna see any details, I can tap on the name of that access point and it shows me the name, the signal strength, the type of security and the IP address and the MAC address. Now this can be important because um, a lot of Wi-Fi uh, security um, protocols might require a green listed device, meaning you, the IT department will have to enter the MAC address of the device uh, in order to get um, allow it access to that network. So your MAC address is shown here. I can uh, choose a different access point um, to connect to, and I don't know any of these, but if I were to click on one of those, um, we can see that they're all secured. So it will prompt me to input the password as you do with any other device, and then it will connect to that network. I can rescan the network, and I can also hit the plus button. So some Wi-Fi networks do not broadcast, so they wouldn't show up here. So if I hit the plus button, plus icon, I can then manually enter the name of a network, choose the type of security, and then enter the password if it's there. So that is another way um, some people will protect their networks is hiding the SSID or, or not broadcasting that address. Um, so if I enter those uh, parameters here, hit connect, then that will show up in our list and um, show us connected. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'm Dan Barrera.